my channel today it is what day is it thursday and it's currently 5 p.m hence the honking it's like prime rush hour i don't know if you guys can see hold on oh my camera is broken bear with me look at that rush hour i don't understand if they think the honking is gonna get people to move or what so yeah i decided to pick up the camera and vlog super random but we're going to be doing a weekend in my life i thought i have nothing planned really so we'll see where this vlog takes us also my camera is broken i'm getting the little screw driver it's like my flip screen is broken but i'm getting it the 11th which is a tuesday so we're gonna have to like just work with what we have so if you hear like a noise in the background i'm apologizing in advance but I filmed a video today. I filmed a book video. It will be up by the time this video goes live. I'll pop it on the screen here for you guys. It's just like the top 10 books that I've ever read. Oh my god, it is impossible to vlog right now because these freaking honkers. Like, I just don't understand. Like, is it gonna make people move if you honk like that? I really don't think so. I think they're just like expressing their anger at this point and they're just like, screw you. But yeah, I filmed a video today. I'm probably gonna just be sitting here and editing it. I'm like going through all of my. <laughs> I'm like in planning mode if you can't tell I'm like kind of just like organizing trying to figure out my videos um, Because I'm leaving for a week, but I still have videos that are going to be going out when I'm gone every Monday Wednesday Friday So I'll be gone, but it may not seem like I'm gone and I will be vlogging when I get back home So I'm excited you guys are backwards. So I can't see myself too much. I feel like I can tape you guys I wish I could show you what I see hold on all right, so this video is actually going to be sponsored by Lip Monthly. If you guys haven't heard of them, they are a beauty subscription service where they deliver four to five full size lip products every single month to your door. I feel like lip products are the one thing in beauty and my makeup that I play around with all the time. And I typically like to change up my lips per season. I think it's really fun. Getting to discover new brands, products, colors, and shades is just something that would be really fun. I think it's a great concept. So I got my little lip monthly package here. We're gonna discover lip stuff together. Comes in like a little bag, which is cool. I always keep these for traveling. All right, so, whoa, okay, I love this. The first one is, wait, let me go turn off my air conditioning. It's about to go turn on. You should probably just learn by this point to turn it off. You would think, right? I wish I could just turn off these honkers. All right, so I have four lip products. This is so fun. All right, so the first one is Hikiri. It's a cream pigment. It's in the color, I think it's called Glam. And it's cruelty free, which we love. They're like the full product, you know? It's not like you're just getting the travel sample size. You're getting the full shebang. It's like this shimmery blue. Whoa. Are we doing Halloween this year? I could be like a fairy. Whoa. <gasps> or an alien. That would be so fun because there was aliens this year. I always like to theme my Halloween costume on something relevant of the year, you know? Like last year I was Billy because I was like a huge thing for my year. I would love to be an alien. Whoa. Guys, I actually really like this. This is not something I would typically go for. See, this is like the beauty of it. You can discover things you would never get yourself. Whoa. Can this be my thumbnail? Let's do it. Okay, I'm having too much fun. Love that. The next one is Estate Lip Icing. Love. Love. Next. You guys remember that MTV show? Hi, my name's Thomas. Comes off the bus. <laughs> Thomas? What a weird name. Next. Me and my friend Lindsay were talking about that. We're like, oh my god, that was like, I used to stay home from school. My, I wasn't allowed to watch MTV. And my mom would be like, you can stay home, but you're not allowed to watch MTV. And I'd be like, okay. And then I'd watch like Next, um, Room Raiders, Sweet 16, all the like trash TV. I freaking loved it. Throwback. All right, Cargo Cosmetics. This one I can already tell I like. Stockholm. The reason I like this one that I can already tell is that the applicator like moves. Like it's very like bendable. That typically will like apply very well. And it's like easy to apply. It doesn't get everywhere. Ooh, I love. This is like a nude. With, like a pink little tone to it. This one's so comfortable. Like it makes your lips so moisturized. Love that one. So creamy. 
All right, next, the last one, this looks like a lip liner. This is actually an eyeliner, so I guess I do like more than just lips, but I'm gonna do a swatch since I already have my makeup on. Ooh, it glided on there, watch it glide. Love that. So I will have their information linked down below for you guys. You guys can get your first bag for five bucks, literally five bucks only. If you guys just use the code first five, I made myself a Vega one protein shake. I put spinach, Vega one, collagen, uh, frozen banana. There's something else. I always forget something. Oh, coconut water and almond milk. Gonna snack on that. I'm craving something like sweet, making it healthy. But doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start editing this book video. It is currently 5.14. Let's see how long this is gonna take me. Let's do an estimate. I feel like I'm gonna be here until maybe 11. Yeah, and then I throw on some folklore because I've been freaking obsessed with this album. I can't. My favorite one, someone asked me what my favorite ones were. Comment on your favorite ones. It's just like the perfect vibey music for transitioning into fall. And I'm so excited to like actually experience like weather change and stuff. So I don't know, I've never really liked Taylor Swift, but this album is so good. Like I literally cannot stop listening to it. It's like, I li like it's been playing nonstop every morning the minute I wake up till I fall asleep. Um, but I really like The Great American Dynasty. I love Exile. And then I really like August. Uh, Mad Woman is one of my favorites just because of the piano. Like all of them are so good, but those are my favorite. All right guys, officially 5.15, let's see how long this takes me. officially done editing and now I have to upload to YouTube, to the thumbnail, the description box, all that stuff. But the book videos that I do are typically like super quick because all I really need to do is talk about the book. I don't do a lot of like jump cuts. I actually didn't do any jump cuts this time, which is like when the camera kind of like zooms in for a second. I just wanted this one to be super simplistic and it was like a 15 minute video. It didn't take too long. It is currently 7.30. The uploading process takes quite a bit, to be honest. Um, but this is what my desktop looks like after I edit a video, it's insane. But a lot of them are thumbnails that I just need to upload to my Photos app. So those are uploaded so I can delete those. And then anything that was in the video that I used as like an overlay, I delete as well. And then all that I have left is the actual video that I can probably delete once I'm done uploading. But like I said, it takes kind of a while to upload. So yeah, now I'm gonna do all the rest. All right guys, it's Friday. I went to bed while this was uploading. It's officially uploaded. I went ahead and scheduled it. It is another gloomy day. I actually have my window open for the first time. Um, it's a little bit cool. It's like 70, so yeah, it's nice to have some fresh air. It's currently Saturday. I didn't film yesterday just because I had myself a day. I basically just cleaned my house, cried, and watched Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I was just in my feels and I needed a day to kind of just let it out. So all's good. Just a lot of emotion and built up tension, I think, from everything right now. But all's good. I'm, I'm really good today. I feel really refreshed. I feel like cleaning my house and like crying it out and letting it out and talking to loved ones about it has really like lifted that tension in my body so all's good don't feel bad i'm all i'm all good woke up this morning and i'm ready to film again so i'm gonna be doing well i'm gonna show you guys the makeup that i've been doing lately just like simplistic makeup i really did narrow down my makeup products this is all that i use now it seems like a lot i don't use all these products every day a lot of them like half of this is just palettes or like eyeshadow and stuff but i've actually kind of taken a break um, with foundation on my face. My mask acne I feel like is gone. Uh, I don't have much left. It's just honestly like dark spots, but again, that'll go away soon. I have a few like pimples, but this is like normal for me when I'm on my period and I'm about to get my period probably within the next two days. So this is actually normal for me. I'll like typically get like one or two breakouts, which there they are. Um, but for the rest, I feel like I pretty much cleared that up. I had it for like a week. It was pretty bad. You guys probably watched that vlog. It was the vlog where I got robbed, basically, <laughs> almost. My face throughout that whole entire week was just so bad. You can see it very clearly in that video, but I figured it out. I'll pop a video on the screen if you guys are dealing with mask acne or like any sort of like fungal acne due to the mask. Uh, yeah, so 
It's a really quick video. It's like five minutes or something, but I have like five ways that I got rid of it. Now I'm trying to let my skin breathe. It's not like 100% back to normal. I would say it's like 95% back to normal. So I'm still kind of just letting it breathe. I feel like when I put foundation on, it still is a little bit dry and not like back to the texture that my skin is typically. So putting on foundation, it makes it super flaky. It doesn't go on as smoothly and it's just not fun. I've been doing like a foundation free makeup. So basically what I'll do is I'll take a concealer. If you guys aren't interested in makeup, I'll pop like a timestamp here um, where you can just forward this. I know some people don't like it. I'm not really a huge fan of people doing makeup, so I... I get you. For those of you guys that are, uh, I take this concealer, it's just the NARS concealer. I'll leave them linked down below too for you guys. I'm in the shade Light Vanilla and I will just kind of give myself a lot of this because I'm not using foundation. I'll like go down here on my cheeks because I tend to get a little bit rosy here. If I have foundation, I'll literally just do like one, two dots underneath my eye. But because we're not doing foundation, I'm just gonna go through and I put a little bit on my forehead. My nose here gets a little bit red, so I do it right there. Along my cheeks and then any like spots that are out and about. So like these big ass pimples here. Um, I have some right here. Now what I'll do is I'll take the Fenty Beauty. It's like the trio set, part of the match sticks. That's what it's called. But this one is the one that's in amber. Kind of gotten the hang of it. And because I don't have foundation on, this is like what makes it, I feel like, look like I have foundation and makeup on. Um, so I'll just like put that along my jawline, my cheekbones, like right underneath my cheekbones, and then my forehead. I look like a science experiment right now. <laughs> Gives it a little bit of like definition. And then I'll go in with my bronzer. I'm back to my Hoola bronzer and I'll, oops, sorry. And then I'll just go kind of back to where I have the Fenty stuff on. I feel like the Fenty one adds definition. This one just adds, looks like a tan. So it looks like I'm in the sun a little bit. Do I look like I've been in the Bahamas? That's the goal. This is something I've been doing for the longest time. If you know, you know, the Sigma Brilliant Shimmer Cream is my holy grail. So it looks like this. I just kind of rub my fingers here and I will glide where I would typically put like highlighter, which is really nice. I'll put a little bit on my nose, on my lid, and then a little bit underneath my eyebrows. And fuck it on my lips. Now for the fun part, not really, is my eyebrows. So I've been using, again, the same thing. This is the Sigma Color and Shape Brow Powder Duo in the shade Medium. I'll only use this side, so like the lighter of the two. And I'll just take a spoolie, brush them up, line and apply. Now I set my eyebrows with the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel in clear because I feel like my eyebrows aren't sparse enough to do any color. When I do that, it just looks crazy. I said sparse, but I meant thick because my eyebrows are sparse. Those are the brows. Like I said, I forgot to put on blush. This is so old. I got this in college, which is like 2012, and it was actually a friend who gave it to me. It's the NYX. Uh, shade espresso it's like just whatever and then I'll just do a little bit of blush this adds a nice little color color along my nose looks like I've been in the Sun and then I typically would put on the highlighter which I accidentally did first and then curl your lashes another holy grail better than sex mascara Too Faced I'll powder my face a little bit where like I get greasy. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. Go over, first of all, where I concealed to kind of set. I probably should have done this first. This is why I'm not like a makeup person. And then I'll do a little bit on my T-zone area. For lips, I'm gonna do the Cargo Cosmetics one uh, that I got from the Lip Monthly. This one's Stockholm. That's the shade. This one was my favorite like everyday one I 
Look at that gloss. Perfect like everyday color. That's my foundationless makeup. I feel like it's not too cakey. My skin feels very light yet it looks like I have some makeup on. I've been loving it. Like I mentioned yesterday, I did like a huge cleanup of my whole entire apartment, like deep cleaned crevices, nooks and crannies, like everything. I also got a new mirror. I don't think I've showed you guys this yet. This is the new mirror. I love it. It's really wide and super simplistic. I was gonna get like um an ornate style vintage looking mirror, but I honestly couldn't find one that I really liked. So I was like, I might just go for the simplicity of it. When Noah gets here, I think we're gonna hang it a little bit over this because this is like that box that you open that's in charge of like all my electric stuff um and i don't like the look of this here it really does open up the space my apartment like i said is clean <laughs> it doesn't look that clean because there's so much stuff so let me give you guys a rundown there is like a method to the madness this over here i'm actually gonna donate i need to find a place that will come pick it up i actually applied for one already and i just need to figure that out but this is all going to donation. The mirrors here, like I said. All of this stuff here is going to be going to storage once Noah gets here. I've already kind of communicated with them, but I just feel more comfortable with him because, long story, but the storage units here in New York aren't like other states where it's just like an open garage or closet kind of style. It is literally like storage units stacked. So like there'll be like a storage unit here, a storage unit here, and then a storage unit here. And I'm gonna buy like the, the cheapest one I think it's like 30 to 50 bucks a month, but because it's the cheaper one, it's on the top. So there's like a ladder that will go like this and we have to put all of this stuff up on the top. So I would really prefer to have Noah here. Also, it's like right around the corner from here. So it's not too far, but I don't feel like walking around the city with giant boxed containers. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for when someone can help me. This stuff over here is my art. Once everything starts getting decorated, I'm gonna be putting that up. This is starting to look good. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing a whole decor series. I'm pretty sure probably in October when I get my other furniture I have like a really beautiful piece that I'm putting here um, I'm gonna get a TV for here we're gonna like re spruce all of this up maybe get some plants and lamps my desk is crazy right now I know but there's a method again this stuff won't be here typically I'm just going through a lot of like Poshmark stuff that I actually need to do today now that I think about it I have all my stuff out today and then that stuff over there is also like gonna go um, <laughs> Ignore this. I need to finish up my laundry. I'm actually gonna clean my sheets too today We have a lot of more cleaning to do today. Yay. I have a bed coming. I'm gonna be painting this wall I think we're gonna end up putting my desk here and then getting a dining set for here because right now I'm just kind of like sitting on my couch or my desk so it's a little bit unsettled but it's still like as settled as it has been just because i have a place for everything and it's not just like all over the place um i just can't wait until like october november ish because i feel like once that happens i am going full force finishing up this apartment it's been a lot <laughs> but we're gonna get settled i promise it'll look so cozy and so nice and it'll just be nice to put all of my creative energy into finishing up this apartment. There's just a lot of things that I have to do before we get to that level, i.e. like get a storage unit, get the donation people here, get Noah here, and get the rest of my furniture. It's another kind of gloomy day outside. It's like overcast, but it's not rainy. So I'm just gonna throw on some music, eat some breakfast, and knock out a little bit more cleaning.
the background. I have my dishwasher running, but I just went downstairs, dropped off the Poshmark packages and picked up all the stuff that I had down there. And I had some fun stuff. The first thing that I'm so excited about is that I fixed my camera. The little screwdriver and screw came in early. It was supposed to come in Tuesday and it's Saturday right now, thank the Lord, because I was filming with my flip screen broken, which was really hard. So my camera is the G7X Mark II. I always have it linked down below. If you guys are interested or want to start your own channel, it's like my favorite camera because it's so easy. You literally just like press a button. You don't have to play with the colors or anything like that. It's really small, compact. It's just the best camera. But the screw had fallen off the flip screen. So I don't know if I talked about it in this vlog or a separate vlog, but basically the flip screen screw only had one screw. So it was like dangling off. And every time I flipped it, it was backwards. It was a pain in the ass. It was probably making noise when I was moving my camera, but cause it's by the speaker. So I went ahead and just put the screw in and it's so nice to have my flip screen back. I got some fun, exciting things. My Forte chocolate, you guys know, I'm like obsessed with them. They have the best chocolate in the world. They're like a small local company in Washington and they've won so many awards with their chocolates. I will have their information linked down below too. Oh my god. These are truffles. No! <gasps> I don't even want to eat these. They are way too pretty. Ooh. Again, of course it's Noah's favorite. I said last time that I was gonna wait with the lemon pepper but I ate it. Posted it on my Instagram and someone's like, Noah's back. I'm like, no, I just ate it anyway. But this is my favorite chocolate ever. I am not a huge fan of white chocolate. I honestly think pepper and chocolate sounds really weird, but I'm telling you guys, some of you guys already tried this and DM'd me. You guys know what I'm saying. Like it is the most silky smooth chocolate. It's like you're eating a lemon loaf, but it like melts in your mouth. It's like freaking amazing. Try this one if you're gonna try anything. The next one that we're gonna try out is the Black Swan Espresso. Again, I'm gonna try to hold off on these because I feel like Noah's coming soon. Knock on freaking wood. So thank you Forte Chocolate. They also have a promo code. I will leave a link down below. I don't know if it expired by now, but you can try it out. Philosophy sent me over their perfumes. The one that I use on a daily basis is the this one. It's the Amazing Grace Magnolia. So they sent me over another one, which is so sweet. That's the bottle. It's so nice and beautiful. The next thing that I got is pretty fun. I'm probably not going to use this until Noah gets back because I don't know how to cook. Um, I can try, but I just don't feel like it. Cooking to me is not fun. Like I've honestly realized I'm not. It's, it's, it makes me stressed. I get anxious and everything turns out really bad. I know I can try and practice, but it's not fun for me. It's not something I want to do, you know? But this is a food chopper. More of that to come once Noah's here. And then I got... Uh, a pair of tights and a skirt from ASOS. This is the look that I would kind of be going for. Just like a huge oversized like shirt or something with tights and a skirt and maybe some booties or something. I feel like it's just such a cozy but comfortable thing because I hate wearing like pants. So I feel like this would just be nice. Hopefully you guys can see my vision. Close up the curtain. Stay on the phone We are the monsters Holding you still We are the gallows Up on the There's no place to hide 